Dear brother, His Excellency Rashid Maradov, Deputy Chairman of the Cabinet of Ministers and Foreign Minister of Turkmenistan. The relation between Pakistan and Turkmenistan are deep-rooted and based on a common vision for peace and prosperity in this region. The Foreign Minister's visit signifies our mutual desire to further strengthen bilateral exchanges and cooperation between our two countries. In our meeting today, we discussed a range of issues covering our bilateral agenda as well as regional and global developments. We were pleased to note the positive direction of pakistan turkmenistan relations. At third round of bilateral political consultation, co-chaired by both of us, His Excellency and myself, we undertook a comprehensive review of bilateral relations in all dimensions. Excellency, our two countries will enhance high-level dialogue and exchanges at the leadership level. I conveyed to my brother, His Excellency, the, foreign, the Deputy Chairman, that Pakistan is eagerly awaiting the visit of His Excellency Kurbang Guli Bardi Mohammadov, the national leader of Turkmenistan, to Pakistan. His Excellency, the national leader visit will further advance and foster friendly ties between our two countries. We have agreed to intensify our joint efforts to further expand and deepen our bilateral cooperation, including in political, economic, and defense domains. We have specially deliberated upon ways to develop closer economic engagement in the priority areas of trade and investment, energy, connectivity, and information technology. I have invited the Foreign Minister's attention to Pakistan's investment climate and sp special role of SAFC, the Special Investment Facilitation Council, in facilitating foreign investors to invest in different sectors. We look forward to welcome Turkmen companies to benefit from prominent investment climate and opportunities in Pakistan. Pakistan's seaports offer the business communities of our two countries to explore win-win opportunities. We welcome businesses and enterprises in Turkmenistan to avail the Gawadar and Karachi seaports for trade connectivity with the Middle East, Africa and beyond. In our meeting today, we also reviewed progress on the TAPI, the gas pipeline, as well as the TAP electricity transmission line projects. These projects offer enormous opportunities for our region and our two countries. We have also reiterated our commitment to enhance the volume of bilateral trade and to make it commensurate with its true potential and existing ties between the two countries. We all work together on trade diversification, early finalization of transit trade agreement, and instituting a liberal visa policy to facilitate greater context between business, businessmen of the two countries. We have also decided to promote bilateral parliamentary interactions and enhance cultural exchanges, educational scholarships, and people-to-people -people contacts. Pakistan values constructive cooperation with Turkmenistan in the, in the framework of international and regional organizations. We will enhance cooperation and dialogue in the multilateral settings, including at the United Nations, Economic Cooperation Organization, and Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC. In our discussions today on the regional and global developments, I briefed my brother Excellency on the dismal situation 
in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. I, a durable peace in South Asia remains contingent upon the peaceful resolution of Jammu and Kashmir dispute. In accordance with the relevant United Nations Security Council resolutions and as per the aspirations of the Kashmiri people. Excellency, I thank you wholeheartedly for the message of friendship and brotherhood that you have brought with you. We wish you and your delegation a very fruitful, productive and pleasant trip to Pakistan. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, dear representatives of the media, ladies. First of all, on behalf of the Turkmen delegation, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to His Excellency, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign, of Foreign Affairs of uh, the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Mr. Mohammed Ishaq Dar, and to all our Pakistani friends and partners we are deeply appreciative uh, of your warm hospitality, uh, the excellent arrangements make uh, for our visit and the productive environment you have uh, created for our joint endeavors. Uh, productive discussions were held today between uh, the co-chairs of joint uh, Turkmen Pakistani in, in Intergovernmental Commission on Economic Cooperation and during the third round of political consultations between Turkmenistan and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. These meetings fostered a wide ranging exchange of views on key areas of our bilateral relationship, including political and diplomatic ties trade economic cooperation, cultural exchange, and humanitarian efforts. Both sides identified promising avenues for further collaboration. The constructive and substantive nature of uh, the discussions underscored and uh, long the long-standing tradition of mutual trust, openness, and understanding that characterizes uh, Turkmen-Pakistani relations. Uh, Turkmenistan and Pakistan are connected by traditional historical and uh, ties of friendship. Pakistan is one of the important partners of our country in the world. I mentioned about it during today's consultations, which shares mutual uh, understanding on almost all issues of regional and global importance. Relations with the Islamic Republic of Pakistan are one of the priority areas of Turkmenistan's foreign policy. In this context, the main factor in the development of Turkmen-Pakistani relations is the open, trusting, and friendly dialogue that has been developed at the highest state level. Our discussions also addressed to, uh, address to the potential uh, for high-level visits between our nations. This reflects uh, the deep ties of friendship and unwavering support that have characterized uh, the Turkmen-Pakistani relationship since our independence. We are particularly grateful uh, for Pakistan's consistent support of Turkmenistan's neutrality and our international initiatives across various forums. In the field of international relations, our states carry out uh, joint cooperation on the basis of close mutual support. Turkmenistan and Pakistan constantly support each other within the framework of mayor international organizations, primarily the United Nations. We also discussed in detail implementation of the Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, TAPI, transnational gas pipeline project, power transmission lines and fiber optic communications along the Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan route. Both sides agreed that uh, to make joint efforts to bring these 
large-scale projects to implementation is a, a cornerstone of Turkmen-Pakistani trade and economic cooperation. Our discussions reaffirmed our shared commitment and unwavering resolve to collaborate uh, on the practical implementation of these initiatives. This will not only strengthen the bonds between our fraternal peoples, but also exemplify the mutually beneficial partnership that defines the essence and content of our bilateral relations. Transport emerged as a key area for enhanced Turkmen-Pakistani cooperation, leveraging our uh, respective strengths, uh, um, uh, we can jointly develop modern infrastructure along east, west and north-south corridors. In this context, we agreed to maintain an activity, uh, an active dialogue uh, on creating international transport rules so that capitalize on the transit potential of both Turkmenistan and Pakistan. Furthermore, uh, to broaden our, uh, our bilateral cooperation in humanitarian sphere, we engaged in, detail, uh, in detailed discussions on fostering closer ties in science, education and cultural exchange. Uh, the Turkmen delegation leaves deeply impressed by uh, the outcomes of this visit and the fruitful negotiations. Our collaboration with uh, Pakistan is firmly set on a future-oriented course uh, with a steady growth uh, envisioned, uh, envisioned across all dimensions. This not only aligns with the mutual interests of both nations, but also serves as a significant driver for positive regional and international developments, promoting uh, enduring peace, stability and economic prosperity in Asia. In conclusion, I would like to convey to the Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Mr. Mohammed Ishaqdar, my wishes for further success in his responsible government and diplomatic activities. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Excellencies. Uh, this will conclude our uh, media session, and uh, we will uh, request the two leaders to, uh, uh, to go to the banquet hall, please. Thank you.